So I'm pretty excited because I recently got invited to participate in a game of Origins, How We Became Human. Um, I decided that it, to make it even more interesting than the game already is, and it's, it's definitely an interesting game to me, and this is a great opportunity to play with people who I believe have some experience with the game. Usually I'm teaching it when I play with other humans. But um, I thought it'd be an interesting slant to uh, play with real people cards, uh, partially because I like to use real people cards a lot. Um, but I think it fits in this case in, in the, the respect that, uh, you know, a, a, a larger cultural body can have a personality somewhat akin to a human. And then as uh, populations grow, they, um, they can take on more personalities, you know, their, their personalities start to f fragment, which is why we have things like the culture wars, and, um, you know, we have, there, there's, there's, a, there's a variety within a, within a given culture, M maybe many cultures, right, but uh, you could break it down into a unit where each culture is a personality, so, um, I drew my first card, and I almost put it, put it back, this is, um, but, I can't do that. And when I saw at the bottom, it's curious. I just I determined to keep it. I'm I'm the Cro-Magnons, and the Cro-Magnons are curious. Um, so this is Pegasus. She, uh, I'm I'm actually kind of grateful I got her. I, as a Cro-Magnon, I I presented myself with the choice before I drew the cards, and I maybe could have done this on camera, but I decided not to. I decided just to do it ahead of time because I think because people were waiting for me, so I wanted to make a decision about this. But the thing about the Cro-Magnons is they can get trapped in uh, Africa pretty easily. Um, so one way out of that, one potential way, is to do a silverback maneuver right away and just kind of bust your way out, bust some heads and bust your way out. Um, I didn't really want to do that. It's not really my play style personally. Um, but I determined, you know, if I got particular personalities, I would be doing that right away. Like if I got a football player, that would be the first thing I would do, would be um, to silver back and then bop the blue player on the head and, you know, do double population increase and get, get out of there. Um, but she's very nice and friendly, so I'm doing some uh, diplomacy instead, uh, which I think I think is good. I think it's something that's that's maybe missed in play by forum games. I, I haven't actually participated in any before. I've watched them, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of um, discussion between players. Or I, I think I think it's unlikely that there would be. Um, and so. I'm gonna try to, to inject some personality into it, or um, you know, allow allow Pegasus to guide me in this respect, and uh, try to get some communication going with the, the players. So far, it's been pretty businessy, although there's been some tomfoolery already with the word "oop." So a bit about the people who are playing. Um, one, it's all run by this very kind man named Pablo, who is the one who set it up. He's doing all this work. He's not, he doesn't even get to play, but I, he must enjoy um, the act of facilitation, which I could totally understand. I also enjoy that, but maybe not to this degree. I don't know if I could um, facilitate all of this just, just to get a game happening. But maybe I could, I don't know. I, I, just the, the work he's doing is a lot, there's a lot of graphical work and things like that, which I would find difficult. But um, super nice of him to do this. The other people, um, I gave them little figures to, to represent their, their characters just to kind of, so I have someone to look at. Um, I, don't, I don't know what they look like outside of their avatars, so I kind of try to go by that. A um, couple of them I've had some interactions with, uh, both Wolf Corbett, who's the alpha player, the blue player, and um, USR Local, who is the, uh, the white player. Interesting note, actually, before I, I'm gonna go on a little tangent here. When I play the game, I always have um, the Cro-Magnons be white, and uh, the, I forget who he is, I think he's the Neanderthals. Yeah, the Neanderthals, I have them be black, because it, it doesn't, it, I, I don't know how to tell based on the card, but I kind of went with what color the numbers were on the demography cards. But we're doing it reverse, so that just makes it look a little weird to me, but that that's okay, I can deal with that. All right, so USR Local, he, um, 
when I met him, he was always saying woof woof all the time. I think quoting some movie uh, with that beard guy. Um, and so it's kind of interesting. There's, there's, there's become sort of a, a two categories of the players I'm playing with. There's the two guys who are wolf, and there are two Johns that I don't really know, um, but they both kind of dress like gentlemen, their avatars. One's John Cleese, and the other one is, uh, I don't know who, um, but some historical figure. Anyway, so I'm playing, and it is kind of interesting how they're, they're located on the map here. The two that I know know better, where I've had more interactions with, are actually geographically closer to me than the two I don't know. They're um, headed over by the Pacific, which I actually want to get to because Pegasus is interested in going to the Pacific with Mel Gibson. Um, she might not totally get to decide that though, because uh, as I as more cubes come in to play there's going to be more personalities that, that take over. Um, I was going to have each cube have its own card, but I decided to break them into groups of three, so each person can have up to three cubes. I think how it's going to work is, you know, the next cube that, that comes on the map, I'm going to draw another card for, next one, so on for the first eight cubes, and then, you know, if I, if, should I get a ninth cube, which is pretty unlikely, um, I think that one would then go to Pegasus, right? And the reason why I arrived at eight is one, 24, which is how many cubes there are, are divisible by eight, uh, so that each person would get three. And then I think I can also feed this into a leg of the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, but I won't go into that right now. I would like to stay focused on this game. So in picking the figures here, I obviously chose the, the dog to go with um, USR Local, because he, he goes woof, woof. And wolf, I didn't, I didn't choose an actual wolf or a dog for him. So I did, you know, I don't really want to in, in make fun of his name because I think it's a fine name. Um, it's just a, it could, I, w I probably wouldn't even notice that his name sounds like wolf, um, except that there's this comparison with USR local, who I also have interacted with. Um, so I gave him a robot, because his avatar is a robot. Um, not much behind that. And then the other two guys, uh, the Johns, I, you know, not knowing them, I kind of had to just pick, well, I, based, I picked first on color, right? I wanted to use guys of the, the color they were to kind of have some um, synchronicity there. I don't think that's the right word. Um, but also, See, I can't even, so I'm out walking right now. I can't remember what they look like. Oh yeah, so the one, uh, the one John, he's a hobbit. So I kind of picked a hobbity guy with green skin. Um, not much more. He also seems kind of gentlemanly though, which I imagine this John is. Um, and the the hobbits are are herding. I think he seems like he could be a herder. He's got a, a vest. I'm, I'm speaking from memory. Uh, I think I'm going to show you the actual images right now. But um, where I am, which is out on a street, I don't actually see um, that figure. And then the other John is a gentlemanly heart. Um, he's Pei King Man, the the possessive one. And I can't think of anything more possessive than a heart. Uh, so. I went with that for him. I think if I think it fits. I, you know, I, they're they're in specific enough that that whatever these gentlemen's personalities are, I think they can they can grow into these little images. And really, it's not going to have a lot of bearing on the game. Just something to look at. So before we get to the store here, I should tell you a little bit about Pegasus. Introduce you to her. She's a house engineer. Um, one of many professions on these real people cards that I don't know what they do. Um, occasionally someone will tell me. They'll say, oh, I'm actually that too, and they'll tell me. And that's always useful. Sorry, I'm dodging a bus. Um, her name's Pegasus. She would like to sail around the Pacific with Mel Gibson. So I'm going to try and get to the Pacific, which is kind of hard from where I am right now. Um, or that will be one of the goals of the culture, right? Because other people might not be interested in that at all. She hates coffee, which is interesting. There's a lot of coffee actually um, grown near the Pacific and Indonesia and whatnot. 
Um, she doesn't like procrastination, which tells me that I gotta kind of um, go for it most of the time. I can't, I can't hold back and just kind of build up and relax, which is what I can tend to like to do in a game, depending. Um, I don't often like the, the ends of games. I like the beginnings of games. The best. Um, so I can meet Tom Clancy. He's an author, I believe. She's personal motto is do it now. Okay, so yeah, definitely. Um, proud of her ability to survive. That will be helpful. She's a joker in high school. Friendly, curious, humorous. So I think she, she really kind of fits this game and she fits what's going on. So for my own figure, I, I chose the ape, partially because I was, I was somewhat limited in figures that were predominantly black. Um, and also because the, the game's premise is that it's going to explain to the player, or the player is going to, to learn um, how we became human. So presumably at the start of the game, we're not so human, correct? And um, since I'm sort of the narrator, for those of you watching this, the you know I'm going to be the the one who you're going to be experiencing the increase in humanity, and hopefully, hopefully through this process, I'll learn more about um, culture, which I human culture specifically, which I think is um, kind of the main thing that we think of as human is is really um, the way we can express culture and the, the way we behave due to culture. That's what we think of as human. And also probably how that interacts with our biology, right? Because there is some biology involved. Of course, as you can see on these brain map cards here, there's definitely some biology involved. 